When this was built, they ran out of money. Um, I like the, the Cincinnati Bengals. I'm about an hour and a half north of Cincinnati, so I grew up watching the Bengals. Um, it's been some rough years. They haven't always been so great, but things are looking up now. Got Andy Dalton. Uh, they've had a, they've had some good drafts the past few years, so things are looking up for them. Hopefully, they'll make the playoffs again next year. Um, Clay Matthews is is my favorite player right now. He plays with such a high motor and intensity. He just runs around and kills people, and I love the way he you know he never stops playing. He plays as hard as he can on every play. Um, that's that's really inspiring for me. My favorite NFL team is of course the Miami Dolphins. Uh, yeah, they're not doing too well now. They fired their head coach. They should get rid of their GM. Jeff Ireland sucks. Um, but uh, now we're making progress. I love the Dolphins. It's just ever since Marino went down, we've been going down. It's just uh, it's a repetitive, uh, repetitive uh, action of just keep drafting horrible things. <laughs> the probably the Buffalo Bills is where I'm from. Sadly, got to root on the the home team, but. Um, for the most part, I like college football better than the NFL. There's just more passion to it, more pride. So I prefer college over over NFL. It's a, the city closes, like the university closes. It's a big game, especially up in Tallahassee. This past year, I went up to Tallahassee uh, with my with my girlfriend now fiance. Went up there, and uh, we watched the game in Doe Campbell Stadium, and phenomenal atmosphere. The so the because Tallahassee is a college town. Uh, and it just it it shut down parties left and right tailgates left and right barbecues and then just you get in there and you just feel the energy and that that's what I love the most about football. We were here we couldn't even really leave the house because it was just so cold and there was like that much snow up. Just remind me for dinner. Oh, prepare. <laughs> Um, I had a couple of tryouts with the CFL team, but nothing really stuck. And then I had a, had a couple of friends from college that went on to play here in Europe for different teams, and they put me in contact with some people, and I was able to start my journey through Germany, and then I was in France, and now I'm here. It's frustrating having lost four of our five games um, by seven points or less. Um, you know, that just comes down to little things, capitalizing on opportunities when you get them. Because I know in, in all those losses we had, we had at least four opportunities in the red zone to get some points, and we came away with zero. So. Dayton, Ohio. Actually, Sydney, Ohio, but I played in Dayton, Ohio. Reggio Emilia is a beautiful city. Um, they don't see many people that speak English around here so you know they hear people speak English and everybody kind of turns and looks at us so that's kind of funny but it's a it's a beautiful place people are all very friendly I love all my teammates um, most majority of the guys on the team are from Reggio Emilia so we hang out outside of football a lot they take us to new places and teach us about their culture I'm from uh, South Florida Miami live in Hollywood uh, just <laughs> And the college I went to is Colgate University. It's in upstate New York. It's an academic prestige school. It's a Division One AA football program. Um, actually, got a lot of uh, representers for Colgate. We got myself here, Jordan Scott in uh, Bologna, and uh, Doug Rosnick in Ancona. So, trying to build a name for Colgate out here in Italy. I guess you could say, I'm not really, I don't like to say I'm superstitious, but at the same time I am. Uh, there's certain things I do game day that, I mean, I do no matter what if I played when I was little, when I play here. Uh, one of the main things, I always get my wrist taped and I get my ankles taped and I always write little things on my wrist. I put the, I put the four crosses for each, one on each wrist and one on each ankle and then um, I just write little sayings. Uh, <laughs> Dare la palla. Oh. Bello. Colò, la possibilità della tua sopravvivenza stasera sono scese al 
Ma te, metti il piede spostato, non dietro. Ok, perfetto. Una cosa, una, vincerà. Basta, basta. No, basta. Siamo concentrati e non rispondete alle provocazioni. Dai, oh! Ognuno sa quello che deve fare. Uno, due, tre! C'è la macchina, ma! Linebackers ready? Yeah. How are you feeling? Good? Good. 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 Well, we, we, we may use the famous play in which you actually faint, go, go. And, you know, fake a faint. But you're as a receiver, you fake a faint, you go down. Get up, run yeah, down get the sideline. Yeah, get up, side line. Go! <laughs> Offense, go! Offense, go! Offense, go! Offense, go! But I'll let you know, don't do it until I tell you, all right? Yeah. Scared me with the thing. I was like, what is that? Abbiamo perso 5 partite di fila. Ho visto troppi sguardi andare sulle tribune, girarsi intorno, cantare, ballare. Va tutto bene. Però abbiamo una partita davanti. C'è una squadra che è venuta fin da Roma non per farsi prendere sberle. E non ha niente a che vedere con domani, non ha niente a vedere con i playoff, ha tutto a che vedere con quello che siamo noi. Con gli allenamenti, con le ore che portiamo via alla famiglia, a tutto quello che dobbiamo fare, i sacrifici, il tempo, i viaggi, ha a che fare con questo e con l'orgoglio. Uno, due, tre! Che non macchino mai! Viva Vittoria! I think as soon as it's gone, they, yeah. they start enforcing it. Yeah. And he said you took three steps and still pushed him, but maybe that's bullshit. The one where you do the 23 through, do that, do a quick pop to me. Quick pop to me. Dai, 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 dai,